Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the first car to break the 100 kilometers per hour barrier. And surprise, surprise, it wasn't a gasoline powered beast. No, it was an electric car. And if that blows your mind, wait until you hear the name. La Hame Content. That's French for the never satisfied, which if we're being honest, sounds like my bank account whenever I check it. But before we get into the nitty gritty, if you love weird car history and electric vehicles that look like metal hot dogs, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Trust me, we've got stories so electrifying, Thomas Edison himself would be jealous. Now let's rewind to the year 1899, a time when cars looked more like fancy horse-drawn carriages that had misplaced their horses. Camille Genazzi, a Belgian engineer with an obsession for speed and a hairstyle so fiery they called him Le Diable Rouge, the Red Devil, designed and drove this bullet-shaped contraption. And when I say bullet-shaped, I mean it literally looked like a torpedo on wheels. Under the hood, or rather under the curved metal shell, La Jamais Contente had two Postel Vinay electric motors, each producing 25 kilowatts for a combined total of about 68 horsepower. Now. I know what you're thinking, 68 horsepower? That's less than a modern-day Toyota Corolla. True, but in 1899, that was like strapping a jet engine to a wooden cart. This engineering marvel was powered by 100 lead-acid battery cells, which in terms of range meant you could probably drive a few miles before needing to stop for a 12-hour recharge. Now, let's talk weight. This thing tipped the scales at 1,450 kilograms, or 3,196 pounds. That's almost as heavy as a Tesla Model 3, but without the luxury of cup holders or, you know, actual seats. And despite its weight, it managed to hit a top speed of 105 and 9 tenths kilometers per hour, or 65 and 8 tenths miles per hour, making it the first vehicle to officially break the 100 kilometers per hour barrier. For context, the average horse-drawn carriage at the time maxed out at about 15 kilometers per hour, meaning Genazzi basically went full-on fast and furious in a world that still measured horsepower by actual horses. Speaking of which, safety features? None. No seat belts. No airbags. Just a guy in a bullet-shaped tin can hurtling down a road with all the aerodynamic efficiency of a refrigerator. Honestly, if La Jamais Content were built today, it would come with a massive disclaimer, may cause extreme anxiety and or instant regret. Now, let's talk fun facts. First, the rivalry. Genazzi had an arch nemesis, Count Gaston de Chasseloup Lobat. These two went back and forth setting speed records, like a slow motion version of Formula One, until Genazzi finally won with La Jamais Content. And then, legend has it that his wife named the car the Never Satisfied because she was tired of him spending all their money on electric speed demons instead of, I don't know, groceries. Where is this thing now? You can see it in the National Car and Tourism Museum in Compiègne, France. There's also a replica at the Cité de l'Automobile in Mulhouse because when a car makes history, you definitely want a backup version in case the first one gets lonely. And just to prove its lasting legacy, Venturi Automobiles named their 2009 electric land speed vehicle Jamais Contant in honor of Genazzi's creation. That's right, over a century later, this absurdly shaped machine is still inspiring engineers. Who knew that looking like a rolling sardine can was the key to immortality? So, what's the takeaway? Electric cars were breaking speed records over 120 years ago, and now they're doing it again. La Jamais Content walked so Tesla, Remac, and Lucid could run. Or, more accurately, it rolled awkwardly so today's electric cars could hit 200 miles per hour without making the driver look like a lunatic from a Jules Verne novel. And that's the story of the first car to break 100 kilometers per hour. If you enjoyed this trip through automotive history, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the link in the description to find out how to support the channel. You can become a sponsor for just one United States dollar, less than the cost of a single lead acid battery cell from 1899. Links in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.